forever, Lord. We thank you for your everlasting. Hallelujah, God. We thank you for you being all knowing, omnipresent, and all powerful. We thank you so very, very much. Thank you, Lord. For how your spirit is already moving in the place. Yes, he is. Thank you for meeting us in the sanctuary. God, we thank you for your promise, and all your promises are yea and amen according mm -hmm. to the working of the Spirit of God in us. We thank you so very, very much as we stand before you, humble as we know how, as temples of the Holy Spirit, understanding that we don't belong to ourselves anymore. We've been purchased with a price. Yes, Father. We belong to the Spirit of God that lives on the inside of us. Paul said it like this, it's not out that live anymore. Though I be dead, yet shall I live, not I that live, but Christ liveth on the inside of me. God, we thank you so very, very much that you've made it possible for us to be one with you. We thank you for you living on the inside of us and becoming one with us in the person of the Holy Spirit of Almighty God. Now, God, as we move forward into our Bible study tonight, we ask in the name of Jesus that you make our crooked places straight and our understanding, our rough places smooth, in our understanding. Give us deep revelation and insight tonight as we study the word of God. Yes, to show Lord. ourselves approved unto God. Working who need not be ashamed, rightly dividing. We rightly the word dividing the word of truth, truth, Lord. Help us right now, Father, to hide your word in our heart so that we might not sin against you. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Soldiers in the honor of the Lord, present all of us. This is my weapon. I am armed and dangerous. Look out, devil, the fight is on. Amen. What fight are we fighting? The good fight of faith. say to you, go and get you a, go and get your Bible, go get your pen and piece of paper, get you something to record, hallelujah, so that this word that's about to be shared with you will not be stolen from you by the enemy, hallelujah, we're still dealing with the subject of prayer, prepare prayer. Prayer. hallelujah, I'm we're glad still, about that, sir, dealing, we're still dealing with the subject of prayer, prepares me, prayer, it, it gets me ready, and it keeps me ready, prayer gets me ready, and it keeps me ready. It sure does, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We thank God for prayer. We thank yes, God for Lord. the opportunity to communicate Ooh, thank with you. a holy and a mighty, mighty God. Mm -hmm. We're going to be looking at, at uh, John chapter 17 tonight. John chapter 17 in its entirety. We may make it to Luke chapter 22, uh, but I know we're going to spend we're going to spend a good bit of time here in John chapter 17. We're going to deal with that in its entirety because we're talking about how prayer prepares me. In John chapter 17, this is the Lord's Prayer. Say the Lord's Prayer. This the Lord's prayer. prayer. This is the Lord's Prayer, Sister Elaine, because this is the Lord praying for his people. This is this is the Holy This is Jesus praying for us. He's praying to the Father. He's asking the Father, can he come back home now to be with him where he was before the earth was? Because he has finished it. He say he's finished his work, John, and so he's ready to go back home because he's accomplished the mission. He did everything that the Father sent him to do. But watch this. Prayer prepares me. <laughs> if I'm going to go back, I need to pray first of all. And watch this. Pray and get instructions from the one who can lead me back mm -hmm. to where I was. Come on, Reverend Stevenson. Right. I, I got to be talking to the one who knows the way back to where I was before the earth was. Right. Come on, somebody pray for mission right now. Even though, watch the jump, we got to understand, though, we got to understand, even though he's, he's, he's all man and he's all God, he still got to get instructions from God because he don't do nothing without the Father's help, without the Father's permission. Mm -hmm. He don't do nothing, Timothy, without instruction from the Father first. Mm -hmm. And so he's talking to the Father about, uh, about him returning back to where he was before the earth was. I'm just going to throw this out here for free right here. Timothy, you do know that there is a place that you was before the earth was. Amen. Amen. David, you need to understand, right. man, that is a place that, that you was before the earth was. Wow. Yeah, yeah. You Listen to what he said to Jeremiah. He said, I knew you before. 
Right. Mm. I, I, I need somebody to pray for me right here, Sister Knight. Mm -hmm. He said, I knew you before, so that means I was somewhere before right. the earth right. was. And watch now, in the creation, in creation, watch this, watch John, in creation, he puts me in the earth. When he breathed the breath of life into the nostril of the clay man, he's placing me, so I came from somewhere. I was somewhere before the earth was. I know we ain't going to argue to just walk in the spirit with Bishop so that you can. Because Jesus said, well, I think I will say this, Holy Spirit, watch what God said. He said, when it's all over said and done, he said, this clay body is going back to the dust from where it came. Right. And the soul of man and the spirit of man is going back That's to the Father from right. where it came. All right. I, 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 I guess. All right. There is a place where we were before the earth was. Or God wouldn't have said, I knew you before. Right. All right. Amen, Lord. He didn't say, I knew of you, John. He said, I knew you before. Mm. And I purposed and planned you to be a prophet to the nations way before the earth was. Mm. Way before you was in your mother's womb. Thank you, Lord. Yeah. And so the real me was placed into the clay body. In the clay body. He breathed into my nostrils, and I became a living soul. Yes. I became a living soul. Mm -hmm. So let's let's look at the let's look at the text then. Let's look at the text. Look at John chapter seventeen. It's, 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 we need to understand that in, in 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 Matthew chapter six and in Luke chapter eleven, that's not the Lord's prayer. That's the prayer that God gave his people. He said, when you pray, pray this. Mm -hmm. So that's not the Lord's prayer. Okay. So that's our prayer. That's, that's our, prayer. our prayer. That's our prayer. In John chapter 17, he's not telling us to pray this prayer, John. He's praying this prayer. Mm -hmm. So this is his prayer. Mm -hmm. All right. Does that make sense? Yeah. Like? yeah. This is his prayer because this is him praying. He's praying to get instructions to go back to the Father. And he's praying for us. Because he's getting ready to leave, and so watch this, his prayer prepares me. Amen. All right. Now, this will be like, mm -hmm. because now he's praying. Oh, I feel this in my spirit, so watch everything. His prayer, his prayer is preparing me. He's praying and asking God the Father to prepare us, to help us to be able to function out of his presence. Okay. When he leaves, he's praying that God is going to help us to sustain while he's gone. While we wait for the promise of the Holy Spirit to come. Mm -hmm. We getting ready to get there. Y'all ready? Mm -hmm. Prayer prepares, prepares me. me. Mm -hmm. What you need to understand, Brother David, is this prayer right here that he's praying prepared his disciples. Because he was praying for them. It's preparing him, Reverend, and it's preparing, and he's praying for preparation for his disciples. Mm -hmm. Listen to the text, right? Start at verse 1 in John 17. These words, Jesus, these words spake Jesus, watch this, I love this right here, family, and lifted up his eyes to heaven. Why is that important, Sister Elaine? Because he said, when you pray, say, our Father which art in heaven. So the text let us know in the direction that he's speaking. Right. He's not just lifting his eyes up to the sun or to the moon. He's lifting his eyes up to heaven. This is called prayer, Brother David. When he blessed the five loaves and the two fish, what did he do, Brother Timothy? Hey, Lift his eyes up to heaven and blessed it. It's important that we understand that we need the powers that be understand where our prayers are directed to. Right. It makes a difference or Jesus wouldn't have told us to pray that way. Mm -hmm. And so he's being an example and example, John, for us. By the text, letting us know in the direction of his father. Here's the text again. These words spake Jesus and, and lifted up his eyes to heaven and said. Watch this. This is called prayer. Say it for me. This, this is, is called, called prayer. prayer. Because the only way Jesus communicated with his father was in prayer. The only way we can communicate with the father is in prayer. prayer. Right. Notice how he approaches the father, though. He don't approach the father like, watch this, like he's giving the father orders. Hmm. No, no. He's approaching the father as in receiving, wants to receive instructions from the father. He wants to be obedient to the father, so he's not just going to catch it. Listen, thank you, I, I will use this analogy.
houses. He's not just going to give them a bus ticket and go home. He's not just going to give them a plane ticket and go home. He's not trying to surprise his father, Sophie Lane. He's telling his, he told to his father and asked his father, is it okay for him to come on to the house? All right. Watch this now. Watch this now. Nobody is going to go to heaven unannounced. Mm. Oh, y'all. Nobody is going to go to heaven unannounced. Mm, that's good. But man think he's going to come up with a way to where he's going to go to heaven and surprise God. <laughs> oh, y'all. Just pray for me just a little bit, if you will. Because everything that man is doing mm -hmm. toward the moon is for him to try to get to heaven on his own. Mm -hmm. Not understanding that everything he's going to use to try to get there comes from God and belong to God. So he can't get there on his own. Right. That's right. Everything he's going to use belongs to God. But the earth is the Lord's and the foot is that of, right? Yeah. And all that dwell therein belong to God. Mm -hmm. So I can't get nowhere on my own. Mm -hmm. If God don't give you walking in the legs, you don't move. <laughs> right. He don't give you breath in your lungs, you don't breathe. That's right. Mm -hmm. He don't give God. you extending in your hands, you don't reach for nothing. So he's approaching the throne, watch this now, in humility. Can somebody say that for me? Humility. He's approaching the throne in humility. Watch this. Though he says in the scripture, he don't find it robber to be equal with God. Boy, give me a high five. <laughs> he don't disrespect God. Right. He's not like Lucifer. I'm exalt my throne above the stars. Mm -hmm. Say disrespectful. Disrespectful. That's disrespectful. You're not going to go nowhere without God's uh, uh, instruction and God's help. Jesus makes it clear in John chapter 5, you can't do nothing without me. In other words, what you do, I'll allow you. I will say it, Lord, I will say it because that's what he said to Herod. Was that not Herod he told? He said, he said you know I got the power to, to, to kill you, right? right. Hmm. I, I hold the power over your life, right? He said, no, you only have the power that my father gave you. Yeah. Right. You only have the power that you've been given. Mm -hmm. Don't get it twisted. <laughs> So look what he's doing, David. He's approaching, he's been an example and example for us on how to approach the throne. We go asking, we don't go demanding, say that for me. We go, go asking, asking, we don't go demanding. demanding. That's not prayer. Say, that's not prayer. That's, that's not, not prayer. prayer. You can't demand, you can't put a demand on God. Listen to what it says. I love this right here, John. Father, we still in verse one. Mm -hmm. Father, the hour is, is come. Mm -hmm. Hold on now, hold on now. Well, if the hour is come, if the hour is come, then if the hour say the time is right, come on, somebody say the time, time is, is right. right. It, it reminds me of if Galatians four and four, the fullness of time. It sounds like to me, Reverend, that Jesus is saying the fullness of time has arrived. Right. That's exactly mm -hmm. what he's saying. Bishop. The fullness of time has arrived. In other words, right, everything and everybody is in place. Mm -hmm. Even though the world don't know it, everything and everybody is in place for me to embark my journey to the cross. Right. Mm -hmm. Look what he says. Father, the hour is come. We know the hour hadn't come before because he told Mary woman. Yeah. My hour hasn't come. Yeah. This is not my business. It's not time for me to, to do this. Not but yet. when they come looking for him at the feast, what did he tell them? He, what did he say, David? He said, the hour is now come. It's time. It's time. It's time. It's time. So notice what else that says to me. This prayer had to be a timely prayer. Mm -hmm. He couldn't pray this prayer just any time, John. He had to pray this time, this prayer at the right time. Right. Because watch this. Unless he's finished with the work, he can't pray this prayer. Because he can't leave here, John, until it's finished. Yeah, he's accomplished everything the Father sent him to do. He can't leave here. I'm reminded of what he told me, Brother David, that night in my kitchen. He said, you got a long way to go. Mm -hmm. And you're going to do everything I've called you to do before you leave earth. Mm -hmm. And you can do it in good health or bad, but you're going to do it all before you leave. Mm -hmm. He said, the hour, listen, listen, family. He said, watch this. The hour is come. Watch what he said. He said, glorify thy son, that thy son also may glorify thee. Mm -hmm. Now, now, watch what I want you to understand about this word, this word right here now. He, he, here's what this word doxa, this word doxa, D-O-X-A, doxa, this word right here, he, here's what it means, Brother David. It has the connotation of 
prayer and worship. Now, he's not asking God to, to praise him or worship him, but it also means to honor. <laughs> it means to honor, watch this, it means to honor and to, and to have dignity. So he's saying right here, watch this here, Brother David, for the hour is come, glorify thy son. Give him the honor that's necessary. Honor thy son, yeah. that thy son also may, watch this, honor, honor thee. thee. Now watch this because this is important. This is important. He's asking Brother Timothy. He's asking the Father, is it okay? Remember, we you remember you gotta understand something now. You gotta understand something now. You know, this is not after the Garden of Gethsemane, this is before. All right. Because prayer prepares, prepares me. me. Watch this, Susie Lane. He can't even go, go through the Garden of Gethsemane until God give him an answer right here. Bless me, man. Come on, pray for me right here. Watch this, Sister Lane. He can't even embark. He can't even start the journey to the cross until he get a nod or a wink from God right here. Mm -hmm. So he's asking him right here, Brother David, is it okay for me to start my journey to the house? Mm -hmm. Watch this now. Watch this now. Verse 2. As thou hast given him power over all flesh, that he should give eternal life to as many as thou hast given him. Because watch this now, y'all. Y'all listen to the prayer now. Listen to what the prayer is about. The prayer is not necessarily about him. Mm -hmm. It's about all, listen, it's about the folk he's talking about in verse number two. Listen to it. As thou hast given him power over how much flesh? Oh. All flesh. Watch this. That, oh, thank you, Holy Spirit. I will start, I will put a point right there. Because in the Garden of Gethsemane, he gets in his flesh. Mm -hmm. Somebody come here. Because in the Garden of Gethsemane, he gets in his flesh. And he said, if, it, if it's possible that this cup can pass, watch what he say. Nevertheless, that's why, because God has given him power over his flesh. That's right. right. Mm -hmm. What he can say, nevertheless. What he can say, nevertheless, not my will. John, somebody yeah. help me. That's why he can say, nevertheless, not my will, but thy will be done. Because God has given him the power over all flesh, even his own. Mm -hmm. Amen. Oh, I wish somebody would pray for me right here. Yes, sir. And the beauty is, um, we, we've been given that same power. That same power. Mm -hmm. That's it, right? That same power. We've been given that same power. When, 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 the brother, when the brother said in, in the book of Romans of about us no longer being slaves to sin. And, That's right. And, and, and say right. no longer having dominion over That's us. Right. Same power. Oh, That's right. Same power. Same, same power. power. Over all your, listen, you have power over all your flesh. Ah. All your flesh. When you, when, and, and, and you even think about the scripture that, that says the same power that raised Jesus Christ yes, sir. from the dead is now operating in us. Yeah. It's that yes, sir. Same, it's power the same power that he's talking about right That's here. the same power. That's the same dunamis right there. That's the same dunamis right there. Mm -hmm. A lot of people don't understand the resurrection power. They don't. The resurrection power is the killing of the flesh and uh -huh. the rising mm -hmm. of the spirit. Yes, sir. That's exactly what it is. Yes, ma'am. That's exactly what the thing goes I will say. It. It's the killing of the flesh and, and it, it raises me above. It, so it puts me in a place to where I got power over it and don't have power over me. That's right. Amen. This, this, is, this is good stuff, Brother David. Listen to what God is saying right here because so often, Sister Elaine, we read the text, but we're not, we're not really reading the text. We're really not hearing what God is saying. Mm -hmm. And so Jesus is, is, is talking to the Father, but he's revealing something because in prayer I get revelation. That's right. If I'm really in the right position, posture, and condition, God's going to reveal some things to me. Oh, I love this right here, Brother Timothy. And so while he's praying to the Father, he get, God is revealing to him before he can get to the God. You got power over your flesh. Amen. Mm -hmm. right. Not only do you have power over your flesh, but you got power over all oh. flesh. So those who come looking for you in the garden don't have no power over you. Right. Oh, come here, man. Come Amen. here. Because those who come looking for you in the garden, they don't have no power over you. You got power over them, too. They can't do nothing that you don't allow them to do. Mm -hmm. That's why when they came looking for him, Jesus said, I, who you looking for? Mm -hmm. He said, I'm him. Mm -hmm. I'm him. Let all these people go. So scripture can be fulfilled. I'm the one you're looking for. And I'm freely going. You don't have to make me go. You don't have to hold no gun to my head, no sword to my head. I'm going because my hour has come. You don't have to force me into doing this. My hour has come. Listen, family. Y'all still praying for me? Mm -hmm. Look now because, this is what he says again. We'll look, refer to again. As thou hast 
given him power over all flesh, that he should give eternal life to as many as thou hast given him. Does that sound like an echo or something? Mm -hmm. I think it's in, in John chapter 1, verse 12. As many as received him, to them gave he power yeah. to become sons and daughters of God. Watch this now, verse 3. And this is like eternal. Okay, <coughs> verse Bless you. This is like eternal. Watch this. That they may know thee, the only true God, and Jesus Christ, whom thou hast sent. He said, this is eternal life. I says, when you get this revelation mm -hmm. and respond correctly wow. to this revelation, this is how eternal life come about. Mm. Amen. Wow. This is eternal life. Watch this. So that means, Brother mm -hmm. Timothy, if I'm not believing in this, I don't have a revelation of this and hang my hat on this, I don't have eternal life. Right. Can't have eternal life. Mm -hmm. This is what prayer do for you, man. Prayer gives you these kind of insights and revelations. Amen. This is the Lord's prayer. Mm -hmm. Prayer prepares me. Mm -hmm. Even when I face uh, unsurmountable odds, I'm, 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 I'm challenged by something, Sister Elaine. I don't know. I don't know I have the power unless God tells me that I do. Right. I don't have the power unless, watch this, because, watch this, because, see, God worked on return void. If he opened his mouth and he said, I got the power, then guess what, Sister Elaine? I got the power. Gideon, you a man of valor. I don't care how you feel about yourself. I say you're a man of valor. Amen. Huh? And whose report are you going to receive? Because I, I say you're a man of valor. <coughs> y'all y'all still with me? Mm -hmm. And this, verse 3 again, and this is life eternal, that they might know thee, the only true God, Come on, let's stay. Let's 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 deal with the text. The only true God. Y'all yeah. see that? Mm -hmm. Watch this now. The only true God and Jesus Christ, whom thou have sent. Y'all see that? Mm -hmm. uh, 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 let, let, let me do something right quick. Let me let me. Uh, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna get y'all in a minute. Let me get there before I get you there. Let me let me get there first. Okay. Let me get that first. Uh, the scripture lets us know that there's only one. Hmm. I guess I'm gonna have to postpone that then, huh? In First John, in First John, it lets us know. That Jesus is the true God. That's right. It lets us know that Jesus is absolutely the true, the true God. Mm -hmm. It's in first. It's in uh, First John five, verse number twenty. If you don't, if you meet me over there, please. Because unless I get this revelation, this is the kind of revelation, Sister Elaine, we get when we pray. I, I'm talking about when we really pray. Really I, I'm not talking about when we're just going through the motion. I'm talking about when we are really praying. Look what this verse right here says in 1 John 5, verse 20. Amen. And we know that the Son of God is come uh -huh. and has given us an understanding that we may know him that is true. And we are in him that is true. Even the Son, Jesus Christ, this is the true God All right. and eternal life. Uh -huh. Are, are, we, are, are we in the same place? Yes. Is, is that not a barely, barely, is that not a, yes. a echo of what we're reading right over here in John chapter 17? Yes. <coughs> we're talking about how prayer prepares me. Prepares me. Watch this now. Watch this now. Let, 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 let's, let's read verse 3 one more time. And this is life. We, we, I'm sorry, we're back in John 17 verse 3. And this is life eternal. That, that they might know, is this not what it sounds like we just read in 1 John? Uh -huh. That they might know the, the only true God and Jesus Christ whom thou have sent. Verse number 4. Mm -hmm. I have glorified thee mm -hmm. on the earth. I have finished the work which thou gave me to do. Mm -hmm. I've completed, I've accomplished and established the work that you have called me and sent me to do. Now, now, watch this, what we have to understand now. When we look at glorified, Jesus is talking about, I have honored you. That's right. 
I have honored you in the earth. Listen, this is the important, Brother David. I have honored thee on the earth, and I have finished the work. How did he honor him? By finishing, finishing the work. The work. Mm -hmm. And in the finishing of the work, there's a manifestation of God that comes about in the, in the finishing of the work. Mm -hmm. Because he came, watch this, David, he came so that we would know the true God. That's right. So that we would get the revelation of the true God. Mm -hmm. So he said, when you've seen me, you've seen the Father. Mm -hmm. Prayer, watch this, family, how prayer will prepare you. Because, see, prayer will give you a glimpse of the Father. A fresh glimpse of the Father. I say prayer will give you a fresh glimpse of the Father. Watch this now. God will move his hand and show you a little bit more about him every time you pray for real. Mm -hmm. You'll get to know him a little bit more intimate, Sister Elaine, every time you pray for real. Mm -hmm. Oh, y'all. I, I, I know some people are, are not liking the way I'm serving this up right now, the way the Holy Ghost is delivering this up right now. But see, this is why we can pray and nothing happens is because I may not be praying for real. All right. Mm -hmm. All right. Because there are too right. many things, listen to the line, Rev, there are too many things that can affect my praying. Yeah. There are too many things, man, can hinder my praying. If my mind ain't really where it's supposed to be, I'm not praying for real. Yeah. That's why God had me to teach us, Brother David, before you pray, sit yourself down, settle yourself. Mm -hmm. Collect yourself. Listen, can I, John, can I use this? John said that God told him that he needs to not do things that will make it hard for him to hear it. Watch this, so, so that can we take that principle? Stop doing things that's going to cause your prayer to be a hard thing to do. Amen. Stop doing things that's going to cause prayer to be a hard thing for you. Prayer is not supposed to be a hard thing. Prayer is not supposed to be a hard thing, man. Talking to God is not supposed to be a hard thing. Communicating with God is not supposed to be a hard thing. It wasn't hard for Moses to communicate with him. And we don't even have to go through everything Moses had to go through. That's right. He ain't asking us to climb no mountains. Praise God. I'm talking about in the wee wee hours of the morning. Come on, sir. You only want to talk. Come, Come on, on here. I'm there. Talk about me. This is this is this is prayer, man. This is what it looked like. He said, verse four. He said, I have fit, I have I have glorified. I've honored thee on the earth. I have finished, completed, accomplished the work which thou gave me, purposed me to do. Y'all see that? Mm -hmm. You see why, family? He couldn't just pray this prayer at any time. I will say it, Lord. You know the Bible lets us know in Ecclesiastes that there's a time mm -hmm. for everything. For everything. Mm -hmm. Oh man. I, John, the revelation came to me when God gave me a song about it, man. It, is it okay, Lord, for me to, to praise you right now? Is it okay for me to be worshiping you right now? Is it okay for me to be, is it okay for me to be doing what this? And I got this in the workplace, John, in my workplace because I felt like I'm a Christian. You can't tell me when I can praise God, when I can worship God. I'm a Christian. And God had to speak to me. He said, son, there's a time and a place for everything, and your job is not to place. Unless I say so. Unless I say so. That's right. So you just can't jump up and start shouting and praise me. No, no, because <laughs> right now, you're out of order right now. That's not glorifying me. That's not glorifying me. That's, not glorifying me. That's right. That's not the right spirit you're in. Mm -hmm. They're going to see you. They're not going to see me. Mm -hmm. That's a distraction right there. I said, okay, Lord, I said, I'm glad you told me because my head was like this. I can worship God, praise God. He said, no, no. He gave it a song about it, man. I had to ask him, is it okay? That's why when you feel something on you, and you go to the bathroom, go to the closet or somewhere. Don't just, y'all ain't with me, huh? Excuse me for me. I need to go to the bathroom. I need to use the bathroom. I need to go shout a little bit. I need to go do something I can't do right here. Prayer prepares, yeah. prepares me. Verse number five. Watch this part. Because, listen, even though we haven't heard the word prayer yet, this is prayer. Mm -hmm. Watch this now. And now, 
Y'all see this? And now. This is important because he say, and now. So watch this now. He couldn't have prayed this prayer any other time other than when. Now. now. Listen to it, Timothy. And now, O oh Father, honor thou me, glorify thou me, with thine own self, watch this, with the glory of the honor which I had with thee before the world, y'all see this, uh -huh. was. Yeah. Right. He's being very specific, Brother David. But Timothy, he's being very specific right now of where it is he wants to be. Where it is he want to go? Now, this is what the Holy Spirit is saying. You need to be very specific when you pray. Stop being so general when you're praying and talking to God. Be specific so that you can see the prayer being answered. That's good. We pray all these general prayers, and we can't even see that the prayer, when the prayer, that's why, because I really haven't prayed for anything. And then we try to figure out why God ain't answered me yet, because you really haven't asked for anything. You're just throwing stuff out there. What do you want to see God do? Tell him that. Be specific. Jesus is being very specific in his praying. Can you notice there's no generality here? He's being very clear with God about what he's asking for. You got to be clear about what you're asking God for. And so if you're not clear, you can't blame God because watch this, even though God knows everything, you need to know what you're asking God for. All right. You need to know what you're talking about. Yep. And here's one of the things that I was taught. Listen, before you go to God, listen now, before you go to God, if you got to write what you need to talk to him about, write it down and go talk to him about it. All right. Don't be, don't, don't go before God and you're looking for stuff to talk about. You're not ready to pray then. Yeah. Write it down. Watch this now. This other thing is the night I was taught. If you can't see, if you can't tell God how he's going to get some glory for it, don't go with him. Don't go to him with it. Because everything you need, everything you want from God, you need to bring him some glory some kind of way. He need to put you in a position, condition, and posture where he can get some glory. Amen. See? Because I, I, I don't need to, watch this, I don't need to, I don't need to go before God with misinterpretation of scripture. Mm -hmm. You said if I delight myself in you, you give me the desires of my heart. Okay, what does that mean then? It don't mean what you think it means. Right. I heard a song the other day, and here's what the singer said, Brother Timothy. Won't he do it? God will give you anything you want. No, that's not Bible. God's not going to give you anything you want. See how we can be saying things contrary? He'll give me everything I need. Mm -hmm. right. See how y'all looking at me? Mm -hmm. He's not going to give you everything you want. That's not who God is. He's going to give you. The promise is to take care of all of your needs. Yeah. No way in the Bible, Reverend, do God say he'll give me everything I want. Ooh, it's so quiet. No, amen, no nothing. Uh, amen. <laughs> but the songwriter, the songwriter, Sister Elaine, told everybody that hears that song, won't he do it? Come on, somebody, help me, won't he do it? He'll give you everything. No, God, didn't, he didn't tell me that. So I, I can't be teaching people that God's going to give you everything you want. Because now it's all about me. It's all about me yeah. and what I want. Right. And if I don't get it, I don't get what I want, then I ain't serving you. Because they told me, you'll give me everything I want. You know? Well, I think that, you know, since we on the prayer prepares. We on prayer prepares. That's okay. what we're talking about. Uh, the, the first thing is, is that if, if, if prayer is going to do, it's going gonna, it's gonna to help me, it's got to be to where it's not about <laughs> me. Oh, yes, if right. I can put it like that. Yes, you can. So, you know, I always go back, especially when teaching or sharing with new believers about the acrostic of acts, you know, and the couple of the first two uh, uh, on those acrostics is the, in prayer, is adoration of him. Right. So it's the worship part, okay? Right. Mm -hmm. And if, I believe that if we would take that, 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 that stance, 
when going to him that I'm going to worship him mm -hmm. and I'm going to humble myself because the next thing is confession. You know what I mean? Uh -huh. To get, you know, things out the way that when Lord can show me me. And, and I think that if we stay right there for just a minute and not look at prayer, because right now, the majority of anybody, humanity, thinks that prayer is going and taking acts and petitions mm -hmm. of God. Right. It's just as simple. When it's much more than that, more than when that. we see this right here, you, you see Jesus talking, and I, and I, I don't want to go too far here, but we see where, 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 where Jesus is only saying to God what he, had, what he had already showed him or said to him. Right. So he had to spend some time in worship, right. okay? And this is what he's doing when we're talking about glorifying, mm -hmm. okay? So we're talking about worship. So that's the posture we should take before. In, 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 sometimes we ought to pray and not have no petition. Exactly. Mm -hmm. You know, but mm -hmm. that, if, the, if the truth be told, mm -hmm. as a mature Christian, we go to God for instructions in prayer uh -huh. and not to ask him of anything. To present our bodies a living sacrifice. Correct. Just to be a sweet aroma in his presence. That's correct. And so if we get that, switch that mindset from what, you know, because that's what I was taught, just like the song you sung, you know, mm -hmm. or the song you, you re referenced, you didn't sing it. Yeah, thank but you. that you referenced, um, it was about the fact that, you know, see that, that stance? I'm going to God because I know he'll do it, mm -hmm. anything I want. Right. I, I should never be in there unless right. I'm confessing, right. you know, mm -hmm. or, or uh, asking God to take something away from me. I right. and me should not be in there. The majority of the prayer of the righteous is going to be directed at God and about God. Right. Because we know this much right here. That if I stay focused on him, he'll take care of everything else. That's I ain't right. got to ask him nothing. If I'm about the father's business, he'll take care of my business. Yes. That's the, this is why we are taking our time right here, Sister Lane. But Tim, this is why we're taking our time. This is why we're not rushing through this prayer right here because of all the prayer of preparation that's going on mm -hmm. here. And he's being very, very meticulous about it. He's being very... Yeah. I, if, if, if he's not there's, listen, there's no stone unturned here. Mm -hmm. There's nothing for God to try to figure out. He's making it very clear about what he's wanting from God and what he's wanting God to do. Mm -hmm. Listen, if we're if we're going to benefit from prayer, we're going to have to practice the same kind of th this same thing. Mm -hmm. Jesus made it clear. Am I not your example? And if he's my example, then I need to follow the examples that he set. That's right. It's a perfect example. I need to follow the examples that he set. Because notice, every time Jesus prayed, something happened. Right. Watch this now. He said in verse 5, uh, uh, and, and now, O Father, glorify me with thine own self, with the glory which I had with thee before mm -hmm. the world was. Before. There is a before, friend. Yes. There's a before. There's an after and there's a before. There's a before Christ mm -hmm. and there's an after Christ. There's a before earth with Jesus and there's an after earth with Jesus. Mm -hmm. Listen to verse number six. I have manifested thy name. Watch this now. I have, I have revealed thy name. That's it. I have revealed. Who do men say that I come on tell me? Uh -huh. Who do men say that I am? Okay, now who do you say that I am? Peter said, Thou art the Christ, the Son of the Living God. Watch this now. Flesh and blood have not revealed this to you, but my Father which is in heaven. He said, I have manifested your name, revealed your name. Y'all see that, right? That's right. That's right. Unto the men which thou gave me out of the world. Look how specific yeah. this is. Not everybody, the ones you've given me out of the world. Because it's impossible for the worldly man to even receive a spiritual thing. Right. A worldly man cannot even receive this. Right. They haven't received me out of the world. Watch what it says right here. Watch what it says. Thine they were, and thou gave them me. And they have kept thy word. Watch this now. They have kept thy word. In other words, watch this. They are applying it. They are living by this word. They are studying this word and they are performing this word. 
They have kept thy word. They have not allowed the enemy to fool them to come take the word. They have kept this word. They believe it, Brother Timothy. Mm -hmm. They have kept this word. They live in by this word. According to this word. This is how I have good success according to Joshua chapter 1 verse 8. I keep the word. Mm -hmm. Watch this now. Watch this now. Watch this now. This is important. Watch this now. The Bible talks about John about the parable of the sower, how some people don't keep the word. They haven't kept the word. They allow things to happen so the word is still from them or taken from them. Right. But then it talks about the four ground that received the word, that kept the word, say kept it. Kept it. And because they kept it, they were successful. Because they kept it, there was some 30, 60, 100 fold production in life. Right. Fruitfulness in life mm -hmm. because they kept it. Watch this now. Watch this now. Verse 7. Now they, now they have known that all things whatsoever thou have given me are of thee. Mm -hmm. They got the revelation. They believe it to be true. Yes. They believe it. Watch this now. Things I don't believe, I don't keep. Hmm. Things I believe, thank you, I will say it. They remember. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Things I believe, I remember. That word have I kept in my heart. I know it's a he hid. That means to keep. All right. <laughs> I say that means to keep. That word have I hid in my heart. I have kept in my heart that I might not sin against you. It's because I've kept that word. And I remember that word, and I keep applying by that word, living according to that word, that I'm able not to sin against it. All right. Because of the power that I gain from doing the word, because his word will not what? Return, Return void. void. It shall accomplish the thing that pleases God. Why is this, this, this is important? Y'all ready? Verse number eight. For I have given unto them the words which thou gave me. Notice. Jesus said, the words that I speak are not my words, but the, they come from the Father who sent me. Yes. Notice what he's praying. Notice what he's praying. He's letting the Father know, listen, I have not veered away from the instruction. I have not veered away from the teaching that you have taught me. So I'm reverberating it back to you so you know, uh, unless I keep saying what I'm saying, this is how God knows he finished for real. Yep. Because he's going to, he's letting him know, this is what I've done. Right. Listen now, listen now. He didn't come here doing his own thing. He didn't come here just giving them anything, Reverend. Listen to what he said. For I have given unto them the words which thou gave me. And? And they have received them. Yep. And. Look to this. And they have received them. Right. And have known surely. That I came from thee. They so you say they got a revelation. They got, they got a revelation. revelation. It's not they enough sure. just for me here to receive. They got to get a revelation of that. Mm -hmm. That's why we go back to who they, who do they say that our son of man am. Uh -huh. It's because of the revelation that they got. Watch now. He says, and have known surely that I came out from thee, and, and they have believed That's right, right, there. All right that thou did send me. This is important stuff right here, David. This is important stuff right here. This is important stuff right here. Watch and pray, David. Watch and pray. Watch and pray. Amen. Watch now because this is this is important. This is important. I, I wanna, how did they believe? They believed unto salvation. Right. They, they just didn't believe. They believed. Watch this now. Watch this now. What, what I see matter and my perception is everything. 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 Watch now, because what I'm able to perceive, I'm able to conceive. What I'm able to conceive, I'm able to believe. And what I'm able to believe, Timothy, I'm able to receive. Right. Watch now, watch now. He said, well, how, how did they believe? They believed unto salvation, unto the saving of the soul. So let's wow. go to John. Oh, Lord, have mercy. I love this. Y'all wow. praying for me. Let's go to John chapter 6 because we got to capture this. Remember what he just read. Remember because they said that we're sure. Y'all ready? Y'all uh -huh. remember? Yes. Uh -huh. we, we believe. We believe. We believe we're sure. Watch this verse. 
We go John 6, starting at verse 66. Y'all know where I'm going. Mm. John chapter 6, starting at verse number 66. Y'all know exactly where Bishop is going with this. Mm. Okay. Amen. This is, this is important that we deal with the text according to the way it's supposed to be dealt with. Watch this right here because un unless you're sure, you can't say you believe, you can't say you believe if you're not sure if there's not some assurance there. Mm -hmm. If right. there's not some revelation, you can't say you believe it if you don't have a revelation or insight. Mm -hmm. Here's what they say. Starting at verse, we in John 6, starting at verse 66 to 71. Look what it says. From that time, many of his disciples went back. Know why? Because they didn't believe unto salvation. Right. Listen, listen. Watch now. From that time, many of his disciples went back and walked no more with him. Y'all see that, right? They walked no more with him. Verse 67. Then said Jesus unto the twelve, Will ye also go away? Listen to this, family. Then Simon Peter answered him, Lord, to whom shall we go? Thou have the words of eternal life. Is that not what Jesus yes. says in his prayer? Yes. Do I need to go back to David and show it to you? Is that not what he said in his prayer? Yes, sir. Verse number 69. And we believe. Is that not what Jesus said they believe? Yes. And we believe and are sure that thou art the Christ, the Son of the living God. Watch this now. Watch this now. It, th this is this is how he can say I finished. Mm -hmm. He said they believe. The text say they believe, don't it, David? Mm -hmm. Why would it say in verse seven? Jesus answered them, "Have I not chose? Have not I chose you twelve? And one of you is a devil." Mm -hmm. He spake of Judas Iscariot, the son of Simon, for he it was that should betray him, being one of the twelve. Say prayer, prepare me. Prayer Look, he already know he's going to be deceived. He already know what's going to happen, but prayer is what's preparing him for it. Because like this, prayer will, will, will remove the element of surprise. I say prayer will remove the element of surprise. The devil is always trying to sneak up on you. Y'all don't want to talk to him, huh? The devil is always trying to sneak up on you. God said, where, are, where have you been? What are you doing? I'm roaming through this earth. Trying to sneak up on somebody. Ah, sneak up on. I'm rolling through this earth seeking whom I may devour. Right. I'm trying to sneak up on somebody. Because, see, they don't know me just like they don't know you. They don't know me either. Mm -hmm. Because, see, I transform myself as an angel of light. Mm -hmm. Y'all ain't talking to me. Ain't nobody praying for me for real, so mm -hmm. See, and, and, and when I'm praying, baby, God reveals my adversary to me. He showed me exactly the way he come and John and exactly the way he gonna look. Right. Mm. Good. Prayer prepares me. Yes. They say we're sure. We're sure who you are. They believe David. And that's what Jesus is bringing over to the Father. They believe. They believe. Watch this now. Watch this now. Y'all ready? Mm -hmm. Let's go to 1 John chapter 2. 17 through 19. 1 John chapter 2. We may read a little bit farther, Timothy, to verse by verse 21. Let's go. Start at verse number 17. Is that what it says? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Amen. Chapter 2, start at verse number 17, right around, around number 21. Y'all ready? Amen. And the world passes away, and the lust thereof, but he that doeth the will of God abides how long? Forever. Yeah, this is talking cool. about the eternal life, sister. Mm -hmm. like, ain't talking about the eternal life that comes. Little children, verse 18, little children, is it is it the last time? And as ye have heard that Antichrist shall come, even now are there many Antichrists whereby we know that it is the last time. See what he said, Timothy? I told you when you pray, God will reveal your enemy, your adversary to you. Right. Verse 19. 
They went out from us. Right now, mm -hmm. will you lead me to? Will you yeah. lead me to? That's Why such a name? It's because they didn't believe unto salvation. He said, will you lead? Listen, Brother Timothy. They went out from us. Why? Because they mm -hmm. were not mm -hmm. of us. Yeah. For if they had been of us, they would not, they would no doubt have continued with us. But they went out, watch this, that they might be made manifest, revealed, mm -hmm. that they were not all of us. Y'all see this, somebody, right. praise God, right. right here. All right. Verse 20. But you have an unction from the Holy One. And he shall know all things. I say he will reveal him to you. Yes. While he's trying to sneak up on you, Timothy, God will reveal him to you. Mm -hmm. Verse number 21. I have not written unto you because you see not the truth, but because you know it, and that no lie is of the truth. Mm -hmm. I love that. Mm -hmm. They have believed. Yes, sir. But how have they believed, Reverend? They have unto believed salvation. unto salvation. Are you going to lead me too? No, no, we're sure. Oh, walk with me, somebody. Mm. We, we sure. We're not going to work because we got a revelation. We got a manifestation, a revelation of God. We know for sure, so we're not going anywhere. Okay, all right. Can we go to Hebrews chapter 10, verse 38, please?
And y'all, this word right here, Eroteo is how you pronounce it. Eroteo is E-R-O-T-A-O. Eroteo. E-R-O-T-A-O. T-A-O. Eroteo. Watch this what it means now. Watch this what it means. It means, watch this now, it means to interrogate by implication. Watch this though now. Watch this now. Watch this now. This is why you gotta you, you have to really study something so you know the in depth of something. Watch this. Watch this. It means it means to, re, to request a thing. So he's he's making a request. Who's he making it for? Uh -huh. Us, because he's praying for oh, us. Uh -huh. He's asking, he's making a request. He's asking, what did Jesus say, man? He said, ask and you shall what? Receive. Receive, I'm with you now. Ask and you shall receive. Seek and you shall. Fine. Knock and the door shall be open. open. Everyone that asks do what? Fine. Everyone seek do what, John? Fine. And everybody knock when he say the doors are open. Mm -hmm. This is what I'm praying for real, brother Timothy. This is going to happen. Say it's going to happen. It's, it's going to happen. happen. Watch this now. This is important. This is important. This is important. He said, I pray for them. Eroteo. Uh, uh, it, it means to beseech. Did Paul say that in, in Romans chapter 12? Mm -hmm. Brother, I beseech you, brethren, by the mercy of God, uh -huh. that you present your body a living sacrifice, holy and temple unto God, which your reasonable service. Be not conformed to the ways of this world, but transformed by what? By the renewing of your mind. Prayer will give me a renewing of my mind. It will renew my mind, man. Mm -hmm. And so God want to make sure, Timothy, he want to make sure that we understand what prayer looks like. Because if I pray for real, for real, it's going to prepare me. I'm going to be ready to face whatever comes if I pray for real. Mm -hmm. I said, if I really spend time with God, I'll be able to face whatever comes, whenever it comes. You know how storms, they sneak up on you, right? I mean, the, 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 the weather, man, we got accurate weather. Now, I guess that's supposed to make us believe that it's, it's <laughs> It ain't accurate. It ain't accurate. <laughs> but they want you to believe that it's it is. It's not accurate. This ain't. No weather is. Storms sneak up on you. They sneak up on you. I don't care how you prepare in your natural, you're not prepared. To really be prepared, you might have spent some time with God so God can tell you something about that storm that's coming so he can tell you from what direction such a line is coming and the power is coming with. Mm. Mm. See, I may not have to board up all my windows, just a specific one y'all don't want to talk to. Mm. Mm -hmm. I may not have to go through everything everybody's going through. If I listen to God, he'll tell me exactly what to do. That's right. I need you to put a brick right here on the ah, floor. That's just right. put a brick right here. That's that's right. All you have to set that brick right there. Trust and obey. Mm -hmm. This is what prayer do for you. Amen. Watch this now. Eretel, he say, he, it says to beseech him, he said, he, watch this now, that, that word prayer means desire, so he's he's making his, he's, a, he's letting God know his desire, what his will is for us. Watch this, it also means to entreat. And so he's praying for us. This is the Lord's prayer right here. Yes, this is not our prayer. This is the Lord's prayer. So if we want to be correct, Sister Elaine, we will stop calling them other prayers in, in, in Matthew and in Luke the Lord's prayer because that's not what it is. Right. Y'all ready? Verse 10. Verse 9, one more time. I pray for them. Watch this now. He's being specific, family. Yeah. I pray for them. I pray not for the world. But for them which thou have given me, for they are thine. Mm -hmm. Watch this, verse 10. And all mine are thine, and thine are mine, mm -hmm. and I am glorified in them. I am honored in them. Yes, I am sir. praised yes, and sir. worshiped in yes, them. Mm -hmm. Verse 10, watch this now, watch this. Verse 11, I'm sorry. And now I am no more in the world. But they Y'all see this, right? Yes. But these are in the world, and I come to thee, Holy Father. Keep through thine own name those whom thou hast given me, that they may be one as we are one. one. Look at how specific this prayer is. So, see, like, this is preparing them. He's praying a prayer to prepare them. Why? Because we are many members, but we make up one body called the body of Christ. Right. Jesus is the head of the church called the body according to Colossians. 
And we need to understand that we're not an island, John, that we're not the church alone. We're the church together because where two or three are gathered in his name, he's in the midst. Right. There's got to be some unity. There's got to be some unity. If yes. the world is going to see the light of Christ, there's got to be some unity in the body yeah, of Christ. That's right. That's right. Listen to him. Listen to him. He's, he, he's, 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 really, he's really, really praying for us right here. But he's clear about who he's praying for. Yes. He wants unity. He wants us to be one like him and the Father are one. I need for them to be one because if they're going to make it, if they're going to succeed, if they're going to be successful, if they're going to prosper, there's going to have to be some oneness in the body of Christ. That's right. All this bickering, all this fighting, right. all this division, nobody can see Christ with that. How do they know that you're my disciples? By the love that you show one to another. Mm -hmm. And division shows that there's not a whole bunch of love. That's right, because ain't no unity. Ain't no unity, there's no love. Listen to it, Brother David, verse 12. He said, while I was with them in the world, I kept them in thy name. Mm -hmm. Watch this, right? Watch this now. I kept them in thy name. Those that thou gave me, I have kept. Mm -hmm. And none of them is lost, but the one, but the son of perdition, that the scripture might be fulfilled. Y'all see this? Mm -hmm. he, <clears throat> he's letting them know, David, that I finished the work. He's explaining to him, articulating to him that he finished the work. Mm -hmm. Well, how's God going to know I finished the work until I lay it out for him? I lay out everything he sent me to do. I have to go down my laundry list and I have to, hold on, wait a minute. I'm sorry, Lord. I should have came right now. I, didn't, I see something I didn't do right here. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, I didn't do something. I'm sorry. It kind of reminds me back to when I was younger, like on a, a Saturday trying to get ready to go outside. I used to go to my mom and dad and say, hey, can I go outside because I did the laundry, the dishes, uh -huh. like you go down and you list uh -huh. everything you're supposed to do to uh -huh. show you finish, you know. Uh -huh. The rich young ruler tried that with Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> he said, well, now let's talk about the one thing that you haven't done. That one thing you didn't do. Come here. Let me talk to you about the one thing that you haven't done. You're not finished. Let me talk to you about the one thing yeah. you haven't done before you come to me. It's not time for you to pray this prayer. Mm. Mm. So Lane, he's praying. Mm. When he approached Jesus, he's praying. He said, this is not the time to, to pray this prayer. The scripture is clear. He walked away sorrowful, David. Because he prayed the wrong prayer. He prayed at the wrong time. Yeah. Because he didn't mean what he was praying. He wasn't willing to do what it took to get what he requested. Oh, y'all missed that, didn't you? Often we go and pray and we ask asking God for things, but we're not willing to sacrifice. We're not willing to give up or do what he tells us to do. We're not willing to follow the instructions of God, even though we want what God got. We're not willing to go through what it takes to get it. I know I'm the only one. Watch this now. He said, I've kept them. The only one, the only one that's been lost is the son of perdition, so that scripture can be fulfilled. Y'all see that? Yeah. Verse 13, and now come I to thee. That it were now again. Mm -hmm. Now I come. Why? Because I can come now. Mm -hmm. Because I finished. finished. Watch this now. Watch this now. And now, this is verse 13. And now come I to thee. And these things I speak in the world that they might have my joy fulfilled in themselves. Mm -hmm. Y'all see that? Mm -hmm. Why now? Why? Because Jesus wants them to succeed. He wants them to prosper because he already said, Reverend, you shall do greater works than me. And this prayer is to help us be able to do greater works. In, in Nehemiah chapter 8, verse 10, it talks about the joy of the Lord being our strength. Uh -huh. Is that right? Yes. Yeah. In John chapter 14, verse 27, it talks about the peace that Jesus gives us. Yes. Mm -hmm. I need the job of the Lord to be my strength, and I need the peace that only he can give to the mm -hmm. And watch this now. If I, if I follow the examples of Christ, because if you notice, un, until we got to the garden, Jesus was very peaceful. Regardless of what he faced, right. he was very peaceful. Mm -hmm. Nothing shook him at all. As many assassination attempts was on his life. As many times they tried to do him, to, he didn't flinch. Till he got to the garden of Gethsemane. Just for a hot second. 
Watch family. Watch family. Verse 14. I have given them thy word. Here we go again. I have given them thy word. And the world have hated them. If the world is in love with you, mm-hmm. you need yeah. to check yourself. All right. If, if, if you're not you, you're not experiencing no pushback at all, the world just loves you, you need to check yourself. Mm-hmm. If you ain't stirring up something in the room, mm-hmm. you, you need to check yourself. I'm not talking about you going there and start trouble. I'm talking about just your presence. Right. Jesus showed up the devil come. come yeah, y'all know that. Got irritated. Yeah. Got irritated. Yeah. Watch this now. Verse 14, I have given them thy word. And the world hate them because they are not of the world, Mm -hmm. even as I am not of the world. Y'all see that? They're not of the world, just like I'm not of the world, because we all one together. Mm -hmm. They are heirs of God and joint heirs with Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Watch this now. Watch this now. They are not of the world. Are are you of the world? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. No. You can't be a Christian and be of the world too. Enjoy the things of the world too. Because the scripture says, for me to be friends with the world is to be an enemy with God. Right. Right. This is why, Brother Timothy, you can't tell me, nobody can tell me I've been a Christian for umpteen years and I still got a problem with turning some stuff loose. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I've, been, I've been a Christian 20 some odd years, but I'm still smoking. Come on, I'm still drinking. I'm still whoremonging. I'm still beating my wife and my kids and kicking the dog down the street. <laughs> There's no way you're going to tell me, sir, that you're a Christian. You, you're a Christian all these years and you still ain't changed? That's right. right. What's going on? You still got, you still got all your worldly ways? You still can't part with your worldly ways. And want everybody to believe that God is all right with it. You're trying to push it down everybody's throat that God is all right with it. Come on. No conviction in your life at all. Well, I ain't seen it in the Bible, so, and God ain't convicting me. You lying. Pray for me. I, I know it ain't going over well for, for some. That's all right. But truth don't make you free. Amen. Mm-hmm. Watch this. Thank you, Reverend. Watch what it says now. Watch what it says. If you're a Christian, you're not of the world. Right. Jesus is not of the world. Right. As a Christian, I'm not of the world. Mm-hmm. And I'm okay with that. Yes. Amen. I'm not ashamed Amen. of that. I'm okay with that. I'm not trying to fit in with the world. For what? I don't fit. Verse 15, here we go again, I pray. Y'all see that? Mm -hmm. I pray. Mm -hmm. I pray not that thou should take them out of the world, but but that thou should keep them from the evil. Mm -hmm. That's right. Y'all see that? Yeah. So watch this now. In the prayer that Jesus gave us to pray, he did give it to us. Watch now. Pray that the Father don't lead you. Lead me not, lead us not into temptation, but what? Deliver Deliver us us. from evil. Mm -hmm. Jesus prayed it, man. Y'all hear this? Now, I'm not asking you to take them out of the world. Watch this now. Because we haven't finished. He's not asking to take us. Listen, he's asking the Father to let him come home, not us because we ain't ready. Uh Uh-huh. John, he's not asking the Father to take us. We ain't ready. He said he ready. He finished. We didn't finish. We are not finished. So we can't pray that prayer because we're not finished. So he said, I'm not praying that you take them out of the world, but that you protect them from the evil of this world. And God will protect us from the evil. Say, if we act right. If we act right. right. <laughs> if we act right, man. Listen, you, you listen. You, you got to really be able to follow the Holy Spirit right now. The majority 
of the evil that come upon our life, we go visit evil. Mm. That's right. We give way to evil. Mm. Paul said, give no place to the devil in Ephesians. We give in place to evil. Mm -hmm. That's right. And then we're, we're, if we're trying to get God, we're trying to ask God, why, why is this happening to me? No, no, it's decisions you're making. Mm -hmm. It's the things that you want to play with. Ain't nothing wrong with watching that. Ain't nothing wrong with, okay, well, go on into, into, into the evil then. Mm -hmm. That's the truth, sir. You go on into, into the evil then. One decision. It ain't hurting me to listen to this. It ain't hurting me. It is hurting you. Why are you acting like you're acting? You got that from somewhere. Go on into the evil. Go into the evil then. Go ahead and say it. Watch this now. This, this, is, this is important. They are not, he said again, Reverend, they are not of the world. Even as I am not of the world. It was worth repeating. Yeah. We are almost done. We're almost done. Hmm. Verse, 17. Verse 17. Watch now. Sanctify them. Haggy Adzo is that word for sanctify. Haggy Adzo. H A G I A Z O. H A G I A Z O. Haggy Adzo. It means to make holy. To purify and to consecrate. Look what he says. Sanctify them through thy truth. Thy word is true. And when I live according to this word, Brother Timothy, guess what? I'm going to be holy. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be pure. And I'm going to be consecrated. Set aside for God. Listen now. Sanctify them through thy word. Thy word is true. 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 As thou hast sent me into the world. Even so have I also, watch now, sent them into the world. That's why he said, I'm not asking you to take them out because I sent them just like you sent me. Mm -hmm. Come on, pray for me. All right. I'm not asking you to take them out of the world because just like you sent me here, I'm getting. I'm asking you to bring me home and I'm going to send them out, watch right. now, to do the work that they need to do. Right. I came to finish the Father's work. They're going to finish my work because I glorify you and they glorify me. All right. right. All right. So it's time for them to glorify me now because I've glorified you already. Right. Hallelujah. Right Hallelujah. You got to get your turn to glorify him now. Mm -hmm. Time to lift up mm -hmm. Time to lift him up because he said, if I be lifted up, I'll draw all Amen. men unto, unto me. Mm -hmm. Come on, Reverend. Thank you so much. Watch this now. Verse 19. And for their sake, y'all see this? And for and their, their sake. sake Yes. Sanctify myself. I right. sanctify right. myself. I make myself holy. I purify and consecrate myself. Why this? I can't do nothing for them that I'm not. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's no way, Timothy, I can I can make them, I can, I can do for them something that I'm not. Mm -hmm. He said, for their sake, I sanctify myself. That they also might be sanctified through the truth. I am the truth. Is that what he said? Mm -hmm. I am the truth. Thy word is true. And since him and the word of God is synonymous one he with another. The word. That's right. Made flesh. Here we go, verse 20. Neither pray I for these. Now, now, now. This word right here, pray, this word right here is 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 D E is 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 not they, it's like a is um hmm. That is not they. It's yeah. not they. It's that. Yeah. You pronounce it that. Yeah. Watch what it means. Watch what it means. Watch what it means. It means uh, to to be. It, it means uh, to be continuated. Continue. Oh, to, to continue. It means to continue. Your prayer. The prayer is is continued. Hmm. Watch now. Watch now. It also means but, and, <laughs> now, then, also, moreover, nevertheless, even. Mm -hmm. Listen to what it says. Listen, listen. 
Neither pray I for these alone, but for them also which shall what? Believe Believe on me me through their their word. word. Now, now look how important this is now. Because Jesus said, I've I've given them your word. They kept your word. They received it and believed it. Mm -hmm. And now, watch this now. Remember the woman at the well? Uh What did she do? She she went and shared the word that Jesus spoke to her. Watch this. And some did believe. But there were those who left her, went looking for Jesus on their own, got their own ring of work from Jesus, and came back and said, we got saved because of what we heard ourselves from right. mm-hmm. Now, we've got to go out here and spread this gospel. we got to spread the words of Jesus now. Mm-hmm. We know it comes from the same place, right? Same source. Same source. Same source. In John chapter 16, meet me over there, verse 13 to verse number 15, please. That's where it's at, sir. All right. That's where it's at. Already there. We're not gonna we're not gonna say anything new, Reverend. Uh, uh, Reverend. We're not gonna say anything new. When the Holy Ghost comes, He's not gonna say anything new. Right. Right. Everybody have to be saying the same thing. God said, Jesus said, Holy Ghost said, and now we got to go and say the same thing. That's why Paul say, if anybody come teaching any other gospel other than this one, don't listen to it. Mm-hmm. We're right here in John 16, 13. Watch what it says. How be it How when be it? he, the spirit of truth, is come. When he will come. guide you into all truth. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. For he shall not speak of himself. But, but whatsoever he shall hear, that shall he speak. And watch this, and will show you things to come. Right. He shall glorify, honor me. Watch this, he shall glorify me. For, for he shall receive of mine and shall show it unto you. That's what he's going to do. Look at now. All things that the Father has are mine. Uh, and, and don't it sound like we're in John 17? Mm-hmm. All that are mine. Therefore I say, therefore say I, that he shall take a mind and show it unto you. All right. Now we got to take that same word because because Joshua said, "Don't let this word depart out of your mouth. Mm-hmm. Keep saying this word right here. Keep sharing this word right here." God told Moses, "As often as you can, teach the people this. When you're sitting down, when you're walking down the road, when you're standing at the kitchen sink. Now, what he said all that? He said, with every opportunity that you get, I need for you to rehearse this word, teach yes. him this word." Commit it to memory. That's right. They have to commit it to memory. Here we go, family. Here we go. Here we go. What verse did I stop at? You stopped on verse 20. Verse 20. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Verse 20. Mm-hmm. Neither pray I for these alone, but for them also which shall believe on me through their words. Verse 21. Watch this says right here. That they all may be one. Mm -hmm. As thou, Father, art in me, and I in thee, that they also may be one in us. That the world may believe, y'all see this, Mm -hmm. that thou hast sent me, because they believe, now the world got to believe that you sent me. Watch this then. And the glory, Mm -hmm. the glory. This word glory right here is doxa, D-O-X-A, doxa. It means dignity and honor, mm-hmm. praise and worship. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And the glory, the honor, the glory, which thou gave me, I have given them. Y'all see that? He said the same glory, the same honor and dignity mm-hmm. that you have given me, I passed it on to them. Wow. That's good stuff now. Mm-hmm. Same honor, watch this, same honor and dignity that you gave me, I've given it to them. To them. To them. Exactly. That they may be one even as we are one. So without this honor and dignity, they, they can't do it. Mm-hmm. I have to give them what they need to be able to do what I'm praying for them about. Mm-hmm. That makes sense. Yeah. I couldn't ask you, Brother David, to make tea if I don't give you some tea bags. If I don't give you tea, the stuff that you need to make tea, I can't ask you to make tea. So Jesus made sure that he was praying for the things that we would need to be able to do greater works, John. He made sure that he prayed for the things that we would need to be able to go out and spread this word. 
I need to get some unity in the body first. Mm -hmm. Before I can send them out there, mm -hmm. we need to make them one with each other. We need to have, watch this, they need to be agreeing with us and each other. All right. All on one accord. All on one accord. I can't send them out there if they're not in agreement with each other and they're not in agreement with me. Come here, Timothy. I can't send them out there like that. Because my God is a God of order. And he do things decently and in order. Here we go. Verse number 23. I in them and thou in me that they may be made perfect in one, and that the world may know that thou hast sent me and have loved them as thou hast loved me. Verse 24, Father, I will, this is my desire, that they also whom thou gave me be with me where I am. Y'all see this? Mm -hmm. That they may behold my glory, yeah. which thou hast given me. For thou loveth me because the foundation before. Before, I'm sorry, before the foundation of the world. All right. He's talking about that place before. Mm -hmm. Where he was before. Where he was before. Watch like this. He said to him, what did he say to him? He said, Listen, in my father's house there are many mansions. Mm -hmm. If it was not so, I would have told you, I go to prepare a place for you. And when I prepare that place, I'm going to come back and get you so that you can be with me wherever I am. All right. Listen to it, family. We all want to listen to it. This is important. Verse 25. O righteous Father, the world. the world have not known thee, but I have known thee, and these have known that thou hast sent me. He's yeah. finished the work. Uh -huh. Watch now. I have declared unto them thy name, and, and will declare it, that the love wherewith Thou hast loved me may be in them, and I in them. Look at the prayer. Wow. This is the prayer of preparation. Mm. Not just to prepare him, but to prepare us. Mm -hmm. Y'all see how deep he went? Mm -hmm. Y'all see did. the blanket? You see how he covered us in that prayer? Yes, he did. He did. He didn't miss a, he didn't miss a spot. He covered every area we would need. And if he was going to leave here, he had to pray that prayer for us. He had to pray that prayer for us. He couldn't say he was finished and not pray that prayer for us. Because I will not leave you comfortless. Even though I'm about to leave you, I will not leave you alone. So I have to pray the kind of prayer that's going to cover you once I'm gone. Right. That's going to keep you until the Holy Ghost arrives. Right. He knew the kind of foolishness that was going to be in our mind. He meets them on the road of Emmaus. What are they talking about? They're disappointed. Yeah. They're disappointed. He wasn't supposed to die. He's the Messiah. He came to serve. How can he save us dead? He had to die to save you. I see he had to die to save you. Then if he don't die, he can't save you. He came to die in your place. He came to die for your sin, to take your place, or you couldn't be saved. They forgot what he said. They're going to crucify him. But on the third day, I'm going to rise again. Prayer prepares, prepares you for the events of life. Notice what Jesus said in the text. I'm not praying for the world. I'm not praying for, he said, I'm praying for those that you've given me out of the world. Mm -hmm. So here, 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 family and friends, here's what we have to conclude out of this. Okay. If you are not a born again believer, then Jesus wasn't praying for you. Mm -hmm. If you have no intent on being a born again believer, the prayer wasn't for you. That's right. That's what the scripture says. But for those of you who was going to come, he was praying mm -hmm. for, for you. you. Mm. 
Amen. You are supposed to come out of the world. God want to give you to his son out of the world. He's calling you out of the world. So that he can give you his plan and purpose for your life. This is what God sent his son to do. He sent him to die in your place on that cross. To be the propitiation for your sin. To be the scapegoat. To be the one who stands in that perfect lamb of God. There is no remission of sin without the shedding of blood. For That's you. right. Your blood don't have to be shed because he shed his blood for you. And God wants you to be a part of his family tonight. Amen. This is the day of salvation for somebody. May not be for everybody, friend, but it is for some somebody. Are you that somebody? The Holy Spirit tugging at your heart right now. Is God speaking to you right now? If so, here's the prayer that I'd like to pray with you. And if you repeat this prayer with a sincere heart, I'm not saying, friend, that all you have to do is just pray this prayer and everything's going to be all. No, no, you're going to have to live the Christian life. And you have to receive instructions from God and follow the instructions of God. Amen. You have to receive the word and keep this word. You have, to, you have to be saved unto salvation. This can't be an emotional trip. This got to be something that God is moving upon you for right now. This is your hour. I want to pray this prayer with you. If you just stop what you're doing right now, put everything down and just concentrate on what we're about to do. If you pray this prayer after me out of a sincere heart, things are going to change immediately Amen. for you. Focus, friend. Here's the prayer. Father God in heaven, I surrender my life to you today. I ask you to forgive me of my sins and I repent of my sins. I receive and accept your son, Jesus Christ, as my personal Lord and Savior. To reign and to rule over my life from this day forward. Father God in heaven, I pray in the name of Jesus that you will fill me with your Holy Spirit that now lives on the inside of me. Teach me how to obey your commandments and walk in your statutes. And Father, I promise, with your help, to follow you all the days of my life. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. The angels in heaven are celebrating over every sinner that gives his life to the Lord Jesus Christ. And we're celebrating with you. Here are the things that you need to do next. Share with somebody today that you've given your life to Christ tonight. Let the Holy Spirit lead you to a church, to the place where he wants you to serve him, the way he wants you to grow. God is your father, but the church is your mother. And then get baptized, friend. This is, this is how we share the death, burial, and resurrection of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. If you have any questions and comments about anything, leave us some, leave the information <coughs> in the comment section and we'll get back to you as quickly as we can. We would like to send you some literature to help you on your, your Christian journey. If you would like to have the information, the pamphlets we have, send us some information and we'll get it right to you as quick as we can. May God bless you, may God keep you as our sincere prayer for you. Let's, let, let's pray with you, Father. We thank you so very, very much for each person who's participated in the Bible study tonight. I thank you for the insight, the revelation that you've given. I thank you how you've quickened the spirit of your people. I thank you for the rhema that's went forth to those who have been viewing the broadcast. Those who have really paid attention tonight, you have given them what they paid for. We thank you for every person, Father, who humbled themselves before you tonight, who took their place at your feet like Mary did. You refused to allow that good part to be taken from them. I thank you for the seed that's been planted in the life of those, and I thank you as we look forward to the 3600 fold fruit production from their life. We give you glory and praise. Touch each and every house right now, Father, at their greatest need right now. If it's healing, heal by your mighty power. If it's delivered, set your people free, Father, in the name of Jesus. If it's employment, open the door that no man can shut in the name of Jesus. 
if his finances fall, have them stick their hand in the fish mouth. You've already prepared finances somewhere. Show them where to get it from. We give you glory. We give you praise for it now. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. So, friends, we look forward to seeing you hopefully Sunday at our 1145 worship service. May God bless you. May God keep you. It's our prayer for you. Bye-bye.